Importance of Fire Baptism Part 1 A daily devotional message from Pastor Joseph Prasanna Kumar Greetings to you in the gracious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Today we will meditate on the topic of the Holy Spirit and this time we will be specific and learn on the importance of fire baptism Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 reads As for me I baptize you with water of repentance water for repentance but he who is coming after me is mightier than I and I am not fit to remove his sandals he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire these words are spoken by a very great person acknowledged by Jesus as the greatest man born to a woman and he is no none other than John the Baptist in the previous verses of this chapter we see that John the Baptist is preaching a powerful gospel that of repentance and turning to god Let us pause here for a while and consider the baptism given by John. It was water baptism or immersion baptism. People who confessed their sins and were repentant of their sins took this baptism as a public acceptance that they will no longer go to their sinful way of living. In many of the mainline churches we find infant baptism in practice. In my opinion I am not for it as my belief that infants will not be able to confess their sins. However, we will not depend the debate on infant baptism today and God willing, we will spend more time on this topic at a later stage. Getting back to the scene of John baptizing the people, we read that John talks of an open vision that of the person of Jesus who would come after him. Please read the words very carefully as he describes Jesus. He is not talking of greatness or fame but John refers to Jesus as being mighty Jesus himself described John as the greatest born to women whereas John is describing Jesus as mightier than him why to understand this question we need to look at the baptism given by John and that given by Jesus John baptizes with water Jesus baptizes with fire and the holy spirit John's baptism can be compared to that given in our churches by the pastor or the leaders. Please don't get me wrong. I am not belittling that this baptism given in the churches, but that is just the beginning of the journey of repentance and faith. From then on comes the baptism of fire and the Holy Spirit which God alone can give. To summarize, water baptism is immersion in water. Fire baptism is immersion in the Holy Spirit. Let us turn to Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. And the earth was a formless and desolate emptiness and darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. On the desolate emptiness we notice two things darkness and spirit of God. If we read the later verses in this same chapter we read that God said let there be light. God never intends for us to live in darkness but in light. Imagine that we are sitting in a room and suddenly the power goes off. That is total darkness. Imagine you are sitting in an outdoor meeting in the evening and suddenly the generator fails. Total darkness. Even for a few minutes we cannot tolerate the darkness. Now extrapolate that to what we read in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 2. There was darkness across the entire face of the earth. Across the breadth and the depth of the emptiness there was darkness we read in the same verse that the spirit of god was hovering over the surface of the waters in some versions we read that the spirit of god was brooding over the surface of the waters our god never intends for us to live in darkness therefore when god said let there be light there was light the spirit of god caused the light to come in place of darkness dearly beloved as we go into the detail in tomorrow's uh, part we will meditate on how the spirit of god that brought light into this world will bring light into your life and mine may god bless you amen let us pray heavenly father we thank you for your word this morning we thank you jesus that you have said that you will baptize us with the holy spirit and which is what we see happening beginning from the book of acts and going on on even today we pray that every brother and sister listening to this message right now will be filled with the holy spirit and will be baptized in the holy spirit and may your word lead us in a way that we will leave our sinful ways turn to you repent of our sins 
and be baptized by the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.